Hi, this is going to be a very, very short video, uh, and I am going to dedicate one to... <clears throat> right now, I think that people in Ukraine, I think that, that uh, I'm not going to say they need motivation. They have motivation, but they need the reason. I am gonna <clears throat> officially name this video as for the first time uh, you will get to know why <clears throat> Slovenia really separated from the so-called Yugoslav Federation. Yugoslavia was nothing other than a greater Serbian Chetnik state which end up fighting a war against four different republics, four different nations, uh, brotherly nations, as they refer to us as, at the same time. Um, so, the name of this video is going to be titled as Why Slovenia Separated uh, from Greater Serbia, also known as Yugoslavia. Uh, the real reason why Slovenia separated from the so-called Yugoslavia is here in this in this article here. This is this is the real reason why Slovenia separated from Yugoslavia this year. This is, this is what killed, uh, from Slovenian side, a greater Serbian Chetnik state known as Yugoslavia. It says here, and I did not, I really did not investigate much about this stuff, but I saw this article a few days ago. Uh, it is about a young Serbian actress. You know, this individual here, his name is Slobodan Milosevic. This is a Serbian extremist uh, under whom Serbia launched war against four different nations simultaneously under the cover, or I should say brand, Yugoslavia. It was not directed by the Serbia, but the Serbs uh, have hidden themselves behind uh, Yugoslavia. They don't reveal here the name. It says S dot S dot. Okay. Um, but it was about young Serbian actress uh 1986 1987 uh, whom I would repeatedly visit in a Serbia together with a Serbian uh, became a president Serbian Slobodan Milosevic Slobodan Milosevic was involved in this stuff since my childhood uh, talking about MK Ultra, which started at age four and became like my uh, guardian, uh, like totally one of the people, like key people that would, whenever, you know, when it comes to diplomatic relations with uh, Russia, with uh, Moscow, he would be like a diplomat that would oftentimes go with me to Russia, to Moscow. A route between the Belgrade and Moscow, this was just, I think, daily one. 
planes would depart to Moscow and back to Belgrade. This was this was like just like you go on a on your daily uh, trip at work. It is a very very important video for the people of Ukraine and also for the rest of the world. Uh, those that know my case all too well right now already are grabbing themselves into their balls because what I'm about to tell you in this really short video will make you understand everything about why you ever wanted to stay away from either Russia or Serbia. When uh, this year came to life, this year, 1986-1987, this young, beautiful actress that I have fallen in love with, Serbian. Hey, they have another one on the picture. This was uh, known as a Lepa Lena. You know, this Serbian lady here that you see, uh, that I liked, uh, but I started to dislike very much because she displayed in my face arrogance. And once you displayed in my face arrogance, she was not the only Serbian. Uh, it would be the best for you to just stay away because well, I don't think that uh, anybody toward anyone arrogant should display any affection or interest for that matter. Uh, arrogance is just something that gives you a duty, not a right, but a duty to uh, push that person away as far as you can. Basically, ignore one as much as you possibly can. That's what arrogance does. And so, as much as it was nice from the beginning, this, was, this became the most arrogant individual, one of the most arrogant Serbs, definitely a female Serb, the most arrogant female Serb ever involved in MKO troubles, Lepo Brema. Um, maybe she didn't even mean anything bad or something, uh, but I was very sensitive, and when I was younger, I was just, you know, indifferent from today. You just don't, especially when you're drugged up, subjected to some kind of brainwash under MK Ultra. Uh, you are positioned into totally inferior situation. I mean, British royals pointed at me to others involved in MKUltra to see in me dog, literally dog, like a pet, so they would not anger them, my behavior, as they is here to torture us, the feedback from the torture. Um, so, this young actress is what actually sealed the fate of Yugoslavia. Big from the Slovenian point of view, because I was this girl, this this young actress was not arrogant. She was very nice, and she went into this adult, if you like, uh, escort. And I'm not going to go be beyond any of this stuff because there was a lot of beautiful women, girls that got themselves into this stuff. Uh, they pimped them. I was used many times to get a lot of ladies that never would get themselves into this stuff. Literally by using me or using other issues or whatever issues, career and so on. And ended up in the hands of... Uh, were criminals such as his Slobodan Milosevic. And I know for a fact that it was indifferent with her because I know that she liked me a lot. 
And this girl, no matter how hard I try to be with her and she with me, uh, the time came when Slobodan Milosevic uh, no longer could be absolutely in any way seen with her. Uh, having her next to him or whatever. And it was like a goodbye. And he said to me, and uh, after he was with her, uh, because I requested for the last time, I said, but can I have her, basically? I asked him, can I, can I be with her? Can you give her to me now if you don't want her anymore? Because he explained to me the whole situation. And he said... Milosevic said to me, you can have it if they allow you to have it. Yeah, and he pointed at a Serbian Udba people uh, that were basically his bodyguards, but also more than bodyguards, the people who were hiding behind Milosevic, just like the people that are hiding behind Vladimir Putin today. Okay, uh, so these are the last words of the Slobot to me. Uh, basically, he said to me, fuck you. After I even considered him as a, some sort of friend. Uh, but it's an it's a arrogance that Slobod and Milosevic did apologize before the departure from uh, basically from this girl and myself because he would have me like in private life on his diplomatic missions and stuff and even next to the beautiful ladies he had me next to him it was like a mkh of staff member this guy um with stating to me that in Moscow and in Serbia repeatedly that uh, the guy like myself, you know, he said, the guy like myself, and this is not, this is what's interesting. I always blame Serbs for what was happening in Russia with Ukraine uh, and with others against whom Russia exercised aggression. Uh, and I claim that it was the Russians who learned from the Serbs to be so barbaric, to be so uh, um, really, I mean, I, I don't have the words for this. Ethnic cleansing, genocide, extermination, ideas, they, they, not ideas, but acts. They exercised against Kosovo, Albanian people, against Bosnian people, uh, against Croatian people, and also here in Slovenia, definitely against me. Uh, but it was not like this. Slobo just repeated to me the words that I heard in Russia from the Russian politicians. Uh, when he stated to me, because of a guy like you, uh, you don't understand because the guy like you, if I repeat his words, uh, we are evaluating whether it is necessary to exterminate your entire Slovenian nation with a predisposition clause, with he, which he repeated before, that b because of the guy like you. Uh, it's necessary to, should be, your entire nation should be deleted, wiped, exterminated. Yes? So now you understand why Slovenia separated. Because at the moment when he did this bye-bye, and it was other moments that Slobo made a big mistake with it, there were audio and video recorded, 100%. It 
It was not only Slovenian police that was involved in this, it was also other intelligence services that were involved in it, and they got Serbian threatening state on the tape. Everything I stated is on the tape. Everything is in the hard proof. Whether they want to give this out, it's up to them. But this is why Slovenia separated from Greater Serbian threatening state, known as Yugoslavia. He didn't fuck me only. When he fucked this girl that wanted to be with me at all the costs, he sealed the fate from the Slovenian point of view to Yugoslavia. It was over. The support finished. Uh, the schoolmates at the program for uh, maintenance mechanic at the SŠTZU Novo Mesto, Srednja Šola Zdravstvene and Tehnične Osmerite Novo Mesto, recorded, taped them too with the police, uh, and the Slovenian deep state got the reason for a separation from, from the Belgrade, from the Yugoslavia. This was the end of it. Uh, here you can see that this, this is the year 1986, 1987. That's exactly when I attended. My schoolmates were involved in MKUltra, yes. Yes, yes, they witnessed this stuff, some of them. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, but what shocked me, so for me to finish this, what you're going to learn today is that it wasn't the Serbs who committed, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't talk, fuck that, gross violations of the human rights or, uh, you know, come on. I mean, have you seen the stuff they did on Balkans? Uh, this barbarism, it was not Serbs. It was the Serbs who learned from the Russians because these are the words Slobo repeated to me. Actually, Slobo repeated to me that we are evaluating, you know, the status of existence of Slovenian people that are necessary to be exterminated. But it was beginning when I was like a kid, like eight years old, nine years old in Moscow, that the Russians repeated to me that because of one guy like myself, because of one kid like this, and I was brought to the Russia to Moscow when I was four, five years old, it's necessary to exterminate entire Slovenian nation. And it wasn't repeated to me once, twice, three, four, five, ten fucking times. Yes, this is the stuff I heard in Moscow over and over again. Well, eventually Serbs learned about it. They... Uh, Settled for that type of attitude against Slovenian people uh, because on the surface it was only about the uh, Kosovo Albanian people then started to exercise this same approach as to what they have done to Kosovo Albanians also against Slovenia and Croatia and Bosnia on a greater and greater scale. So this is the nation the brotherly Russian nation on the Balkans that dedicated itself to extermination of Slovenian, Croatian, Bosnian, Macedonian, possibly, likely even Montenegro people, all the nations, because there is only one DNA that these people recognize and admit as a DNA, a human DNA that has the right to exist. And that's a Serbian-Russian DNA, whatever the fuck that means. So, okay, how you guys are going to now remember this name, this S dot, S dot, this is a beautiful girl, uh, actress she became. I'm going to actually even look uh, if I can find one. I'm going to look a little bit at these actresses, go over younger years to see if I can point one out. So, 
She was involved in MK Ultra, but she told me she only played in one or two rows. She complained that they push her in the back so that she wouldn't be seen anywhere on a surface. And even those rows that she got were not a big rows. But then I understand that it did open to her more chance. But all in all, they did not allow her to become she uh, completed a university degree. Um, just all there is, that's uh, basically what you need to remember. Yes, this is what I'm giving you today. What you need to remember about this stuff here. Why Slovenia separated itself from the greater Serbian Chetnik state. Trust me, many intelligence departments, including the Slovenian police, got these people totally on the tape. So they are taped, their method methodology, uh, since they complained about Adolf Hitler, I don't know. From my aspect, from my point of view, how I could interpret uh, this in any different way, I, I really cannot. Thanks for watching this video. As I say, it's going to be a very short video, but I hope you understand the words. Yeah, you should take them to your heart. You shouldn't allow yourself uh, any kind of uh, tolerating kind of stupidity. You should not discriminate against your existence. Guilty because I was born and guilty because I was alive afterwards.